good. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. Ooh. So I got you this flavor. Okay. I think you'll like it. Okay, okay. You ever been at this bubble place before? No, but there's a bubble place in Atlanta I love, so just it's hard to tell. Mm, just change the light. I mean, we'll see, but I love bubble from home. Okay. Maybe I spoke too soon. That's why. I'm see, I try to tell you, I don't know why you don't be listening to me. I know all the good food spots. Mm -hmm. Anyways, how are classes going? Miss? I'm about to have my master's. Ooh, they're going really well, actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, the professors, though, mostly white. Oh. And they're microaggressions, so. Mm. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Mm. Honestly, not surprising though. Remember where we live? True. I work with nine year olds, you know, where, and actually, a white student told a black student that they didn't have any friends because they were black. What, nine? You see, that's annoying and frustrating. Like, I wish I had some more support, but, you know, while I'm here, I'm just gonna do my best, press them, and then put my change. You got this, sis. Mm. Do you need anything from me in the meantime? No, I'm good. I think this bubble will be just fine. Anytime, mm. anytime. What happened with that dude that you shared your location with me in case he was crazy? What happened with that? Mm -hmm. What happened with that? It was cute, but it was a little over the top. Like, it started feeling weird when he asked me to go on a vacation with him, so I had to get that in. Oh, hold on, dude. Mm -hmm. I don't know you like that. Mm -hmm. Men are annoying. Especially this is how to run. Mm. I think I'm going to take a break from dating myself. Why? It's exhausting, and I ain't got the energy. Mm. So, are you new to LA? Yeah, kind of. I'm in the military. Cool. Thanks for your service. I'm from Cincinnati, born and raised. Oh, that, that's cool. That's cool. I'm originally from Philly. Mm-hmm. Hi. Hi. Uh, any drinks? Yeah, let me get a club soda, and for the lady, she'll have the same. <laughs> no. I will have a passion for mimosas. Um, just so you know, we're not having sex. You sure I can help you change your mind? Know what? I'm gonna go. Ew. I know, right? I get the vibe that you're bisexual. Are you bisexual? Well, that's a personal question, but no. Good, because I don't like that. Let me tell you, it's nasty. Like, going all in, like kissing, uh -uh. like getting It's gross. I hate seeing gay relationships on TV. I swear, Hollywood has an agenda to make us black men gay. Well, that's homophobic. <laughs> I'm just. So I'm not someone who's just gonna settle down. Females nowadays got too much baggage. Wow. Why is it always daddy issues and not that the dad has the issues? And did he just say female? So if you could describe yourself in three words, what would it be? Intelligent alpha male. Huh. Anytime a man says alpha male, run. You ain't never lied, child. I got up out of there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, do you have any friends who are women? <laughs> nah, that's not a thing. So, you don't believe in women? And if my girl has got friends, you have to let them go. Uh, hey, so Christian, the manager, saw you and wanted to give you a dish and a drink on the house. Uh, yeah, he said thanks for being such a good friend to him these past couple years. Oh, tell Christian I said thanks <laughs> and that I got him next time. Um, for now, I'll just have the agua fresca and fried pickles. Okay. Hey, right up. Mm -hmm. Oof, I'm exhausted just hearing about it. I'm sorry you're experiencing all that. 
But it sounds like the waiter came in clutch though. Girl, she saw me on the struggle bus. Not once, but multiple times, okay? And I appreciate it, but you don't have to apologize. Well, I hope you are getting some time for self-care. Okay, well in the meantime, I have homework I need to get done. But this bulb is fire though. Okay, so you gonna kick me out. That's cool. Go ahead and get your little homework done. Kick me out. Ah, it's all right. I brought you both. Thank you. Here. Bye, girl. <laughs> Yo, no, excuse me. I don't mean, I don't want to run. I don't mean to bother you, but I feel it's foul. I like it. Hey. Yeah, no, nah, I can appreciate that fella creative. And what do you create? Music. I'm an artist. So, music is my life. Okay. You have to see me some sometime. Oh, yeah, definitely. I appreciate the support. I'm actually about to head to the studio right now. You mind if I get your Instagram? Maybe DM me? Sure. Okay. Hey, Jay. Hey, hit me. Tap in with me. Okay. All right. You good? I'm good. You? Okay, I'm straight. I'm solid. So, how you been? It's been a while since I've seen you. Oh, man, right? Not uh, since the game night. Man, don't be vent, right? It was so much fun. I meant to actually text you to make sure you got home safe. You good? Oh, no worries. I'm right. fine. Right. Did you get a chance to listen to the song I sent? Yes, and I loved it. I was turning oh, it up in my okay. room. <laughs> But what I will tell you is that I think you should slow down the course a little bit, and that way you can get better across what you're trying to say. Okay, okay. Thank you. I appreciate the feedback. Yeah. All right, okay. <clears throat> Look, I want to give you orgasms, but I want to get to know you too. But I don't aspire to have the whole wife thing. <laughs> I want multiple baby mamas living together in a mansion. <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> no, I'm serious. I did not come all the way over here to talk. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to go to bed. Um, I hope you can learn and grow, but I, I can't. All right. I'm going to play you when I see you because I get plenty of bitches. Yeah. And don't try to come later. I know how you Geminis are. I'm not going to want your ass then. You are so disrespectful. And part of what's wrong with society. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Come here. Are you mental? At least I'm being honest. I'm a real one. Most dudes gonna say whatever they want just to get in your pants. Get out. Babe, come here. Don't be like that. I said what I said. Get out. You better walk out that door and never look back. I can't wait to talk to my therapist. Until then, here we go. Last night was heavy. Still trying to process, honestly. Microaggressions during the day and misogyny at night. I'm honestly gonna step away from dating for a while. I'm emotionally exhausted. Ugh, this energy I'm giving to dating, I'm giving to myself. I'm great at giving people the best parts of me when I need to give it to myself. Not everybody deserves access to me.